So welcome everyone. We have a lot of students to receive their degrees, so we should get started. So people could try to find their seats and get underway. Welcome to the 2019 Department of Physics graduation ceremony. Uh, my name is Blaine Heckel. I've been department chairman. And as such, it's my privilege to confer the degrees that our students have earned this year. A graduation is a time with many facets. It's a time for celebration of achievements, a major milestone in the student's life has been accomplished. It's a time of relief. No more killer homework sets, no more all night study sessions. Um, maybe you'll never have to take another exam again, which would be nice. It's a time of transition to a new career, perhaps further education. And it's also a time for saying goodbye to friends perhaps Seattle, perhaps the student lifestyle. The physics department is a community and in many ways, it's like a large family. Today's degree recipients will always be part of our physics family. They're just leaving the house. We're sad to see them go, but we're also happy that they will become distinguished alumni of our department. This year's graduating class is a record setting. We've got 20 PhD, earned 10 master's degrees, and 195 bachelor of science degrees. That is by far the largest in the country. Only three schools had more than 100 bachelor of science degrees. <laughs> we are 80 ahead of the second closest. And because of that, that is why we are split into two parallel sessions, because we can't fit everyone in our largest room anymore. So that's, we produce about 2% of the Bachelor of Science degrees in physics annually, which is, uh, we're proud of. As your student will probably has told you, physics is a challenging subject. It's the study of, it's not, put the paint of heart. It's the study of the laws of nature and the constituents of the universe. It's mathematically intense, conceptually rich, and focuses on using fundamental principles to solve problems and making measurements in the laboratory to answer unanswered questions. Today's recipients have spent long hours mastering physics and acquiring the skills that will be the basis of their subsequent careers. Today's degree recipients should be proud of what they've accomplished, what they've achieved. On behalf of the physics department, I can say <clears throat> that we are proud of the class of 2019. It is now time to award the degrees. We will start with the PhD students, and then the masters, and then the bachelor of science. Each student has been asked to write a brief statement that I will read as we confer the degree um, and the undergraduates have chosen a commemorative gift to remember the department by these are on the table so we'll, we'll take people down by rows after the row is it's their degree you are free to pick up your commemorative physics mug and return to your seats So with that, I would like to call the first row PhD recipients to come forth. First, we go alphabetically, Jenny Chen. So Jenny is special to me. She's worked in my lab for 10 years as an undergraduate and graduate student. And I'm very proud of her, but also sorry to see her leave. Uh, 
So she did her PhD study with me on searching for the electric dipole moment of mercury atoms. Her research places stringent constraints on theories of physics beyond the standard model, and her results were published in the Physical, physical Review Letters. She has accepted a postdoc position at Indiana University, working to measure the electric dipole moment of neutrons rather than the mercury atom. Jenny is grateful to her advisor for his essential and remarkable guidance during her graduate studies, his enthusiasm on precision measurement, and keen insight on the small but critical elements of the experiment give her drastic momentum to be rolling on in research. Jenny would like to thank her parents, Herman and Millie, for providing her the opportunity to study abroad and supporting and encouraging her along the way. She would also like to thank her many friends, especially Sing Wen, Wei Chin, Jerry, Danielle, and Tyler, who gave her spiritual support during her academic trip. Jenny, congratulations. Thank you. Xi Jin. Xi Jin did independent study with Professor Oral Bulgak on theoretical nuclear physics. He received the Weiss Award of the Physics Department for his excellent performance as a graduate student working in theoretical physics. During his PhD program, she has co-authored and published three journal papers and seven conference proceedings and more in the coming year. He is trained as both a good theorist and computational scientist. After graduation, she will work as a software development engineer at Amazon in Seattle. He would like to thank his wife for years of company and support and his professors for leading him into the next chapter of his life. She, congratulations. <laughs> Luke Kippenbrock. Luke began graduate school in 2011 and received the Sebastian Kerr Prize in Physics for his first year of coursework. He went on to perform doctoral research in the Neutrino Physics Lab at SEMPA under the supervision of Diana Parno. He is a collaboration member of the Katrin experiment located in Germany and has a goal of measuring the neutrino mass in addition to his trips to Germany to assist with upgrades to the detector Luke spent most of his research time studying potential backgrounds for the Katrin spectrometer, including backgrounds from cosmic ray muons, environmental gamma radiation, and penning traps. Due to the financial support from SEMPA, he was able to present his re research at several conferences, including invited talks at PASCOS and Lake Louise Winter Institute. Additionally, he is a corresponding author of two publications of the Katrin experiment. His future plans are still uncertain, although he is considering a job in industry. Luke is very thankful for the support of his parents, siblings, and friends during his time in graduate school. Luke, congratulations. <laughs> Rachel Ryan has earned a PhD in physics. Rachel joined the Mu Sun Group in 2012, working towards a precision measurement of the neutrino capture rate in deuterium. She is now continuing to work with the group as a postdoctoral researcher and hopes to unblind her data to present the first results this summer. Rachel would like to thank her advisor, Peter Camel, for teaching her how to run a nuclear physics experiment, back crunchy ski, and play the Alpenhorn. She would like to thank her mom and Dennis for all their support and encouragement over the years. Rachel, congratulations. <laughs> Carolyn Shasha is earned a PhD. <laughs> Carolyn completed her BA in physics at Brown University in 2013, where she studied biophysics with solid state nanopores. At UW, she received an intercept fellowship to study magnetic nanoparticles for biomedical imaging and cancer diagnostics and treatment with Professor Khan and Krishna. 
She received an award for the outstanding TA in her first year. And in 2017, she attended the IEEE Magnetic Summer School in Spain. She also received a grant from Sigma Chi Scientific Honor Society to perform research in biomedical imaging at UKE in Germany. Carolyn's research papers have been published in Physics and Medicine and Biology, the Journal of Magnetism, Magnetic Materials, and ACS Nano. She is a founding member of the UW Physicists for Inclusion and Equity group and is president of the Physics Graduate Student Council. Carolyn has served as a mentor for the Society of Women Engineers, volunteered at the Conference for Undergraduate Women in Physics, and was a mentor for the Washington Directed Reading Program in Physics. She is a member of the Seattle Association for Women in Science and is a student ambassador for the American Physical Society. Carolyn, Carolyn would like to thank her family, friends, and professors for all their support and Catherine Provost for her continuous help. Carolyn, congratulations. So please take your commemorative gift and, <laughs> and could we have the two master degree recipients to come forward? Uh, Nathan Hicks has her, earned a master of science degree in physics. Nathan wants to give sincere thanks to his entire family for supporting him throughout the full gamut of his graduate school lesson. He plans to establish a newfound career path venturing further into the application of artificial intelligence within the aerospace market. Also, Nathan does intend to continue his academic journey, although not prior to taking a well-deserved break from studies, and more importantly, to catch up on lost time spent with his wife, Sunshine. Nathan, yep. somehow, uh, oh, there we go. congratulations. Mm -hmm. uh, Kimberly Martell has earned a Master of Science degree in Physics. Kimberly developed and implemented inquiry-based lessons on particle, atomic, and nuclear physics in her high school International Baccalaureate Physics class for her independent study final project. She worked with Professor Paula Heron on this project and would like to thank Paula, as well as the Physics Education Research Group, for their support in this project. Kimberly has worked on developing and modifying physics by inquiry lessons for implementing in her high school physics classes over the past five years and is looking forward to continuing this work. Nuclear physics taught by Alejandro Garcia was Kimberly's favorite class in grad school and she enjoyed using the particle accelerator at SEMPA and getting, ha getting hands-on experience with nuclear physics. Kimberly would like to thank her husband for his endless support during these past three years and she has been, that she has been teaching high school full-time and working on her master's. Kimberly would also like to thank her family for their encouragement and support. Kimberly, congratulations. Okay. Help yourself to. Uh... Okay, at this time, if the PhD and master students would like to recuse themselves, you, you are free to. You are also welcome to stay, but uh, not required to. Okay, we have the first row to come up. So now we turn to the Bachelor of Science degrees. We'll wait a minute for people to re-situate themselves. Motoki Noru has earned a Bachelor of Science in Physics. Toki did undergraduate research with the Aircraft Icing and Aerodynamics Research Group and has studied quantum annealing 
and LIDAR technology for his capstone seminars. Watoki is planning to continue his studies in applied physics for his master's degree at the Illinois Institute of Technology starting this autumn and aspires to contribute to the advancement in automotive technology and renewable energy. Watoki would like to thank his parents for their immense support and encouragement they have given him, as well as Margo and Professor Olmsted for their helpful guidance. Watoki, congratulations. Tao No has earned a Bachelor of Science in Physics. Tao did his work in Husky Robotics on the Mars Rover competition for 3D modeling and software design. He will be looking for employment as a software development engineer after graduation. Tao would like to thank his family for supporting him in his academic efforts and his professors, TAs, and Margo for all their help. Tao, congratulations. Randy Wynn has earned a Bachelor of Science in Physics. Randy did research in studying. That's Jason. Okay, wrong. <laughs> Jason Wynn <laughs> has earned a Bachelor of Science in Physics. After graduating, Jason plans to work for for a time before applying to graduate school. He would like to thank his parents for guiding and supporting him. He would like to thank his brothers, Anthony and Simon, for their help and being there for him. Jason, congratulations. <laughs> Sorry about that. Okay, help yourself to your commemorative and could have the next role come forward. You or Randy? <laughs> <laughs> Randy Wynn has earned a Bachelor of Science in Physics. Randy did research in studying forest environment predator and prey systems with an emphasis on infectious disease. Outside of school, he volunteers with DKMS, a charity to fight against blood cancer and expanding the importance for Asian ethnicities to become a registered donor due to little representation and necessities for an ideal match. Randy plans to work for a few years and then graduate and then go to graduate school in engineering. He would like to thank his mom for always supporting him and believing in him and his professors for pushing him and guiding him to become a better vision himself. Randy, congratulations. Good. Julian O'Leary has earned a Bachelor of Science in Physics. Julian is working under Professor Jason Detweiler at SEMPA to create a cosmic ray veto system. He will continue to work at SEMPA until July. Outside of the physics department, Julian was a midshipman at the Naval ROTC unit, taught photography as a student TA at the College of Built Environments, was a DJ at Rainy Dog Radio, where he hosted weekly shows and local musicians, and was a, a photojournalist for the daily newspaper, and rented 16 millimeter films for the library. Julian would like to thank his family, close friends, and Margo for all their support. Julian, congratulations. congratulations. <laughs> Axel O'Neill is under Bachelor of Science degree is excellent. Congratulations. <laughs> Yotam Ofek has earned a Bachelor of Science and is graduating with graduating with college honors. Department in college honors. Yotam did independent research under the supervision of Professor Paul Wiggins in the biophysics lab and Arkham Ajumda's optics lab, and that led him to receiving the Mary Gates Research Scholarship. Yotam is a, also the recipient, recipient of the Sedlock Scholarship and the UW Physics Department's Anderson Scholarship, one of our highest awards. Even with his many accomplishments, Yotam's proudest achievement 
has been founding and running the UW Comedy Club, growing it to the largest comedy RSO on campus. Yotam would like to thank his families, friends, and research advisors, Paul Wiggins, Arkham Majumda, Sarah Marangeli, and of course, Margot Nunes. Yotam, congratulations. Spencer Pease has earned a Bachelor of Science in Physics. In addition to physics, Spencer is graduating with a degree in informatics and a minor in applied math. This fall, he will be starting a fellowship at the Institute for Health Metrics and Evaluation in Seattle, where he will work to advance global health research. Spencer wants to thank his family for supporting him, even when he decided a fifth year of college would be fun. He also wants to thank his friends for helping him through tough classes and Professor Garcia for introducing him to physics. Finally, Spencer wants Margot to know that he thinks she is the best undergraduate advisor in the whole university. I agree. Spencer, congratulations. Thomas Pernorio has earned a Bachelor of Science in Physics. Whenever Thomas needed a place to study, the Physics and Astronomy Building Lounge was his was a place he would go to. There he would meet Margaret, David, Joel, and Anna, who would help him with his studies. He thanks them for their help, as well as his friends in other departments and his parents for providing a solid home and foundation to learn. His graduation and bachelor degree is a big step in his aspiration on becoming an astronaut. Thomas, congratulations. <laughs> Spencer Peters has earned a Bachelor of Science in Physics and is graduating with college honors. Spencer received a National Leadership Award for his service as the UW Society of Physics Students' first community building officer. He organized a 2016 Theorist versus Experimentalist Ice Cream Social, a 2017 trip to FizzCon, and many other events. Spencer did research with David Cobden and two internships with Microsoft researchers Quantum Program, and is headed to Cornell University for his PhD studies. Spencer will forever remember introductory physics with Alejandro Garcia. He would like to thank his parents for nurturing his curiosity and his friends and professors for feeding it. He hopes they all has had as much fun as he had. Spencer, congratulations. <laughs> James Pierce has earned a Bachelor of Science in Physics. After leaving the Army in 2014, James started his collegiate career at Green River College before transferring to the University of Washington. He would like to thank his parents for the love and support while he was learning physics. James looks forward to a lifetime, lifelong learning and continued study of physics after joining the workforce. James, congratulations. <laughs> Michael Pooj Holzman has earned a Bachelor of Science in Physics. Michael came to the University of Washington and became fascinated with physics and astronomy during the pre-MAP class in his freshman year. This led him to research with John Lurie on binary star systems. Last summer, Michael worked with the Sloan Digital Sky Survey, learning about instrumentation and performing research. He would like to thank his family for, the, for coming today and for always supporting him. Michael, congratulations. Tiema Chien has earned a Bachelor of Science in Physics. Tiema did independent study with Professor Jun Hao Chu on quantum materials. He focused on building the apparatus to measure the dependence of the Seebeck coefficient on strain. He received the Higgs Osborne Award in 
Floral Section Leadership Scholarship. Tiema has been accepted to the Physics Graduate Program at UCLA. He would like to thank his parents for all their support they have given him and for Professor Chu, who helped and inspired him on the road of research. Tiema, congratulations. Jimmy Reagan has earned a Bachelor of Science in Physics. Jimmy has led the propulsion system of the Society for Advanced Rocket Propulsion's 30,000-foot Apogee Hybrid Rocket, as well as spent two summers at NASA developing a science platform for the ISS, International Space Station. On campus, he has been involved with the AUEG program, Building Telescope Instrumentation, and maintaining MRO, which I don't know what it stands for. <laughs> Excuse me? Oh, that's the name of the observatory. Okay, thank you. He has received an astronaut scholarship as well as an honorable mention from the NSF GFRP. In the fall, he will begin study at Caltech, pursuing a PhD in space engineering. He would like to thank his family and friends for all their support, as well as his mentors for fostering his passion for space exploration. Jimmy, congratulations and good luck. <laughs> Lavini Raj has earned a Bachelor of Science in Physics. Oh, oh we're done. Sorry. Lavini Raj has earned a Bachelor of Science in Physics. Lavini interned at the Sanjay Gandhi Institute of Postgraduate Studies, where she studied nuclear magnetic resonance, and at the Indian Institute of Technology, where she used ANNs to predict geotechnical engineering properties. She co-authored a paper which was published in the International Journal of Recent Scientific Research. Lavini would like to thank her family for always believing in her, her professors, for the many lessons they taught her, and Margot Nims and Professor Olmsted for their constant guidance and support. She would like to dedicate her degree to her grandmother, Vinodini. Lavini, congratulations. Margaret Ritter has earned a Bachelor of Science Physics and is graduating with departmental honors. Margaret will be attending the University of Alberta for her graduate study in physics in the autumn. She would like to thank every member of the faculty and staff for encouraging her to be ambitious, and she is immensely grateful for their generosity and guidance. Each professor she had deepened her understanding and awe of physics, and she probably wouldn't have passed her classes if it weren't for them. Margaret, congratulations. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Jared Schwartz has earned a Bachelor of Science in Physics. Jared wants to encourage everyone who is in attendance to enter themselves into the worldwide bone marrow registry. He used, he did this through an organization called the Gift of Life, but various organizations will send a free kit to your home for you to register. Testing takes less than a minute and consists of rubbing a cotton swab in your mouth. Your decision to get tested could save a life. Jared, congratulations. Okay. Ryan Sedlicek has earned a Bachelor of Science in Physics. Ryan helped design and build an X-ray spectrometer in the Seidler X-ray Lab. He is currently completing an internship with Echodyne, a small Kirkland-based radar company. He plans to pursue a graduate degree in physics. He would like to thank Professor Seidler and the folks at the X-ray Lab for their tremendous support. He'd also like to thank his mom and dad for putting up with him through his university years. Ryan, congratulations.
Sesha. Sepulveda. Sepulveda has earned a Bachelor of Science in Physics. Sesha did research at the Veterans Affair Hospital with Dr. Glenn Clute in their prosthetics department. She worked on creating a heating system for prosthetic limbs and was tasked with determining the necessary stiffness of a prosthetic foot for an amputee's mobility on the moon. She will continue this research this summer. While at UW, Seisha enjoyed being part of the UW boxing team, where she was a team captain and earned scholarships and several All-American and national titles. First, she would like to thank God for making this day possible, her family for always loving and supporting her dreams, and Margo for her help. Seisha, congratulations. Melissa Shemwell has earned a Bachelor of Science in Physics. Melissa appreciates the opportunity to have studied at such a wonderful institution and would like to thank her parents for supporting her throughout her career. Melissa, congratulations. <laughs> Good job. Andrew Sims has earned a Bachelor of Science degree in Physics. While not involved in physics-related extracurricular activities or research at the university, Andrew has chosen to chase his other passions. He helped co-found the Rocket League eSports Club and also played on the university's collegiate Rocket League team, competing against many other schools across the country. He will continue to be involved in UW eSports as a coach for future UW students and in the Rocket League and club. While still unsure of his career path, Andrew hopes to use his mathematical problem solving skills and love of esports to shape his career. He would like to thank his friends and family for their help and support. Andrew, congratulations. <laughs> Tristan Smith has earned a Bachelor of Science in Physics. Oh, Chris. Derek. Derek Smith has earned a Bachelor of Science in Physics. Derek transferred to UW in the fall of 2017 from Carroll College in Helena, Montana. He did a summer REU at Montana State with the SSEL working on the IT Spins CubeSat. Derek, congratulations. Yeah. Tristan Smith has earned a Bachelor of Science in Physics. Tristan was an active student of physics. He did independent research with Pro Professor Boris Blinoff, developing an ionization laser, with David Cobden, fabricating nano devices, and with Peter Schaefer, helping in research for physics education. Tristan learned quite a lot at the University of Washington and he will continue to learn as a graduate student as after he graduates. His future plans include lab work and entrepreneurship. Tristan would like to thank his parents for their support, his advisors for their kindness, and this department as a whole for inciting his passion in physics. Tristan, congratulations. James Steer, but it says pronounce it Walker Steer. He's earned a Bachelor of Science in Physics and is graduating with Departmental Honors. Walker conducted ion trapping research under Professor Boris Binoff and alongside Jennifer Billaholm over the past 18 months. He received a NASA Space Grant Scholarship to fund full-time research over this last summer and is graduating with Departmental Honors. Before graduate school, Walker will go on to work at IonQ, a recently founded ion trapping quantum computing company. Walker would like to thank his family and friends for supporting him, his professors for their time devoted to teaching, and finally, Boris, Jenny, Megan, and the rest of the Blinoff group for their advice in teaching him what it means to be a physicist. 
Walker, congratulations. Thomas Swanson earned a Bachelor of Science in Physics. Thomas started his college career in Running Start and he transferred into Applied Physics at UW. His first summer after transferring, he interned in Shanghai, China at SMIC Semiconductors. Upon returning in the fall, he worked at the Applied Physics Lab at UW on the REMUS. Last summer, Thomas interned at Qualcomm as a software engineer on the failure analysis team. He has since returned to Qualcomm to start his career as a software engineer. Thomas would like to thank Margo and Dr. Olmsted for navigating the graduation path and giving meaningful life advice. He would also like to thank his parents for always supporting him. Thomas, congratulations. Courtney Sims has earned a Bachelor of Science in Physics. Courtney worked in the Physics Department as an undergraduate TA and as a lab assistant in the Introductory Physics Series. She also worked on Coherent, it's a neutrino project under supervision of Jason Detweiler at the Semper Lab. She has been published on AmphibioWeb, on the AmphibioWeb, on the frog species Exerdonta pinorum. She appreciates how much Jason Patterson, Margo Nims, and Margie Olmsted helps her out. She has enjoyed her double major in biology and physics. A special shout out to her friends, parents, Jonathan and Irene, grandparents and siblings, Maggie, Kagan, Sam, and Ken. She wants everyone to know she wouldn't be where she is without the amazing people in her life. Courtney, congratulations. Noah, Noah Tashbook has earned a Bachelor of Science in Physics. In addition to physics, Noah participated in research in numerous fields, <laughs> including QCD, that's quantum chromodynamics, uh, one I know, pediatric, sur pediatric surgery at the Seattle Children's Hospital, statistical data and analytics, and astronomical observation. He was the recipient of multiple FLAS fellowships and studied in North Africa, focusing on Islamic constitutional law. Noah also taught labs and other courses with over 3% of all UW undergraduates ending up in one of his classes. He plans to continue teaching and doing research after graduation. He would like to thank Melanie Rice for her continuous support and positivity and Professor Suzanne white Gramia for being the bomb.edu. Noah, congratulations. <laughs> Tian Trin has earned a Bachelor of Science in Physics. Tian was in Professor Watt's research searching for L LLC, long lived particles outside of the standard model. He will take a year off before going to graduate school in order to continue his research. Tian would like to thank his family for always being supportive and his professors and TAs throughout the years for showing him how to think like a scientist. Big shout out for Professor Pengra and Professor Boris Blinoff for giving such amazing lectures that Tian would feel bad whenever he had to miss any of their lectures. And finally, Tian has the utmost appreciation for Margot Nims and Professor Olmsted for giving him confidence to continue down this path. Tian, congratulations. <laughs> Melissa Trong has earned a Bachelor of Science in Physics. With the intentions of working in the medical field, Melissa has published a paper with Dr. Scott Robinson in the Center in the Study of Development Psychobiology and has done independent study with Dr. Minson Kim under the Physics Radiation Oncology Department. Post-graduation, Melissa has accepted her job as a research engineer scientist at the Brotman Bati Institute. 
within the next five years, she hopes to eventually be accepted to PA school and become a physical assistant. Melissa would like to thank her mom and sister for always, always encouraging and supporting her academic and extracurricular endeavors. Melissa, congratulations. Jimmy Van has earned a Bachelor of Science in Physics. Jimmy is currently working with the UWOEA, Office of Education Assessment. He received the annual Dean's List in, two, in 2017. He was the VP of Fundraising for his fraternity, Beta Tau. Jimmy will be working as a CNA and will be pursuing a Bachelor's in Nursing. Jimmy would like to thank his parents and friends for all their support they have given him. Jimmy, congratulations. Again. Josh, Josh Warnick, in the Bachelor of Science in Physics. Josh would like to work with Tom McGinnis in the Ocean Technologies Division at the UW Applied Physics Lab on a seabed scanner for unexplo unexploded ordnance. He was also awarded a Mary Gates Scholarship for linguistics research. He will be attending the Naval Nuclear Power School in Charleston, South Carolina this autumn, where he will study reactor engineering and begin the process of training as a submarine warfare officer. He would like to thank his friends and family, his colleagues in the UW SPS, the Naval ROTC, and the Seattle rowing community, and the many coaches, mentors, and teachers he's met along the way. Josh, congratulations. Preston Went has earned a Bachelor of Science in Physics and is graduating with college and departmental honors. Preston joined the physics major in his first week as a UW student, already knowing he would love it. He joined Professor Jun Hao Chu's quantum materials lab in his first year. While there, he received two summer undergraduate research program grants. Preston will be going into industry as a data scientist next year, though he may return to school for his PhD. We would like to thank Margo Nims and Professor Chu, Cobden, and Gupta for their guidance. Preston, congratulations. Emilia Williams has earned a Bachelor of Science in Physics. Emilia studied and wrote on plasma physics and its application, as well as sound wave propagation during her time at UW. Her favorite topics have been ones concerning waves and special relativity. She would like to thank her mom for always supporting her. Emilia, congratulations. Bayou Wilson has earned a Bachelor of Science in Physics. Bayou has enjoyed his academic experiences in and out of UW. He was supported by the University of Leiden in the Netherlands to study galaxies and the Mary Gates Research Scholarship to study intergalactic space. Bayou is eager to continue his academic studies in the physics graduate program at University of California, Riverside. Bayou would like to thank his advisors for their patience and his family for letting him call home so much. Bayou, congratulations. Yeah. Yuyan Wu has earned a Bachelor of Science in Physics. Yuyan did independent study with Professor Sichi Su on B tagging calibration at the Atlas experiment. This is the Large Hadron Collider at CERN. Yu Yan would like to thank his professors for their guidance and teaching and his parents for their support. Yu Yan, congratulations. <laughs> Leon Cher 
He's earned a Bachelor of Science in Physics. Vian was a member of the UW-GWA team, research team. His research topic was gravitational waves from binary black hole systems using the LIGO data and GWPY. Vian would like to thank his parents and friends for their support and help. Leanne, congratulations. <laughs> Samir Yan earned a Bachelor of Science in Physics. Samir worked in biomedical informatics for the past three years, where he created an innovative system for medical note reduction, redaction, which was received the 2019 Population Health Award. The technology Samir developed for his research will soon be implemented at the UW Medicine and Fred Hutch. Samir has accepted a position at a biotech company, Pathware. He would like to thank Margo, Professor Olmsted for their advice and counsel, Sean Mooney, Vikas Pejavar, and everyone at Moon Mooney Group for their guidance and his family for their love and support. Samir, congratulations. Jake Young has earned a Bachelor of Science in Physics. Jake would like to thank his family and friends here today for their support and encouragement. Jake, congratulations. Yile Yu has earned a Bachelor of Science in Physics. Yile is going to study in the field of business analytic at Northeastern University. Yile would like to thank his parents for all their support and he wishes the best for his younger brother on his undergraduate college applications. Yile, congratulations. I think that's neat. Yunji Yu has earned a Bachelor of Science in Physics. Yunji did independent study with Professor Arkham Ajumda and Professor Peter Schaefer. Yunji won the Anderson Scholarship thanks to his professor's nominations. He would like to thank his parents and grandparents for always being there for him and supporting him. Yunji would also like to thank all of his professors for all their academic assistance. Yunji, congratulations. Good job. Wen Ju has earned a Bachelor of Science in Physics. Apple is currently interning at Five Corners Construction. She is the event planning director of China Entrepreneur Network. After graduation, Apple will continue her intern at Five Corners Construction. She is also looking forward to pursue a master's degree in business, in the business field to explore business opportunities for technology companies. Apple would like to thank all of the amazing professors for their painful but joyous courses, to Margo for her most caring advice, to her friends and family for all their support and love. Gwen, congratulations. I am afraid I do not have the degree to confer, but we will do that for you. Congratulations. So that concludes the conferring of the degrees. I would ask people to remain seated. We will have a processional for the students to leave. Does someone know how to turn that on? Oh, can we turn it up? <laughs>